Hi, welcome to my tutorial where I'll be showing you how to install an EMU PCI based sound card. Um, this will only work for the PCI versions, it won't work for the PCI Express or the USB based cards. Um, you could probably do a similar technique on the PCI Express cards uh, if you had the appropriate drivers and modified the scripts to suit, but I don't have the hardware to test so I couldn't tell you if it would work or not, sorry. To follow this tutorial, uh, you'll need the drivers and the scripts, which I've uh, linked down below. Uh, just download them and extract them to a, a, an easy to find folder uh, to follow along. Uh, this is based on a, a forum uh, on KVR. I'll also have a link to that down below so you can follow along. And if you have any uh, uh, issues, there's some troubleshooting steps in there and uh, you could follow along and hopefully sort out any issues you might have. Alternatively, you're welcome to post any questions down below and I'll do my best to help you as well. So this is the forum uh, where Clubhouse Key found the uh, XFI drivers that worked and he wrote the script to copy the appropriate files over to get everything working on your EMU card, uh, including all the docs, input outputs and all your ASIO and it'll all work in uh, any of your doors that you have. So big props to Clubhouse Key uh, for getting this sorted and finding the uh, initial solution. So the first thing we need to do is to make sure that any of your old drivers are uninstalled. Uh, if you look at my computer, you'll see that I have some drivers installed, but this was the old Win8 versions and it will definitely not work in Windows 10. If you run the patch mix software, you'll see it says I don't have the hardware and everything shows up red, and so nothing will work. So the first thing we need to do is uninstall any of your old drivers. You can leave the patch mix software installed. Uh, I have included that in the files, uh, with the latest version and the latest beta drivers that you need as well. So you want to check for your EMU drivers there, just make sure they're uninstalled. And you'll need to restart your computer. Okay, so now that we've rebooted, uh, the first thing we'll do is go back to our device manager. You'll see the card is now just showing up as a multimedia audio controller. Uh, this is where we want to be starting from. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go to our drivers folder that I've given you. And we want to install the version 2.3 beta driver. So just run the setup there. And let that install. Okay, now we don't actually need to restart this time. Uh, the only reason you want to is if you want to install a driver again, it'll have a whinge. But for what we're doing now, uh, you don't need to restart. So I'm just going to no. Now you'll see that the card has shown up as an EMU uh, card again, but it's still not working. don't have the hardware and everything is red again. Still, I should say. Um, so we'll quit the application again. So what we'll do now is just go back to the folder that has the scripts there. And we want to right click on our start menu 
and go to the PowerShell with admin privileges. If you don't have it there, uh, you can just type PowerShell and run as administrator from there. Now I'll show you what's going to happen if you try and run the script with uh, restrictions turned on, which I think is the Windows default. So what we're going to do is uh, first we want to go to the uh, directory where the drivers are installed. So we'll just click here, we'll turn it into the path there, and you can just copy that. And then come back to the PowerShell, type CD, and then right click, and then that'll uh, cop uh, paste the path back in, press enter. And so now we're in the correct path. To run a script, you type dot forward slash, and then the script name. So we can type emu, and you can just hit tab, and it'll cycle through all the commands. So we want the driver fix command, and it won't let me run it because I have restrictions. So to get around this, there's some uh, execution policies that we need to set. So the first thing you want to look at is what is your current uh, execution policy status. So you will type get execution policy dash list. And you can see mine are all undefined, which I think is the Windows default settings. So to run the script, we want to make the my local machine unrestricted. So you just type set execution policy dash execution policy unrestricted. And just hit yes for that one. So now if you go back up and try and run that script again, it, it will work this time. Now this script does a few things. First of all, it will disable your emu device here. Then it will copy the files from this XFI driver into the correct location. Then it will re-enable the device. Now, if you notice that the device doesn't disable when you run this, you may need to manually come here, disable it, run the script, come back, and then enable the device. But there shouldn't be any reason why it shouldn't work. Uh, the only reason might be if the if your device shows up as a different name, it may not um, find it, and so it might not disable it. So I'll run the script now, and you'll see the device disable and the files copy. There's the device disabled. It's copying all the drivers over, and the device is re-enabled. So, all going to plan, we should have a working uh, EMU sound card. Let's give it a crack. Start our patch mix software. And there they are. Everything's working there. Uh, we've selected the, it's automatically found the card there and selected it. And there you can see, I have sound. And hopefully our ASIO is working as well. Uh, if it's not, there might be another step that you might have to make, uh, which I'll show you after. So we'll go to FL Studio. Go to our audio settings. You can see that it's using EMU ASIO. The control panel is working. I'll load up the project and just make sure that it's all working correctly. There we go. There's your emu, dock and sound card working in Windows 10.
Now, if for some reason um, the EMU drivers didn't work, uh, I did find that the following steps uh, did fix that. So we'll quit the uh, patch mix application again. We can close the PowerShell for this. And what you can do is just right click on the EMU DSP, go update driver. I want to browse my computer for drivers. You want to let me pick and go to have disk. You want to browse to the drivers that you extracted and go into the XFI, the latest XFI driver there, which I've included, which ends in 19. Drivers, WDM, and this is the int file that we need. It will show up as an XFI card. That's okay, don't worry about that. Go next. It will complain because it thinks it's the wrong card. But it's okay, just go yes. And when that's finished, it will still show up as an EMU card. And I'll just confirm that my ASIO drivers are working. sound and we have ASIO Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Uh, before I go though, there's one more thing we should probably change back. Uh, we've left our computer uh, execution policies in a fairly unsafe uh, mode. So what we'll do is just go back to our PowerShell and set it back to how it was originally, uh, which was undefined. Yes, and if we check out our list again, it's back to undefined, which is, which is the original setting. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope this was helpful. Uh, any questions, uh, please leave them down in the comments. I'm happy to try and help uh, solve any problems you might have. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you later.